Yep. So even, we're gonna shuffle the cards. But I'll tell you what, we'll do the best shuffle. You know what the best shuffle is? Huh. The one you do. Oh, all right. So you shuffle them. Perfect. And then as you're shuffling them, I want you just to name any card in the deck. Any right. card at random. We'll do the six of spades. Six of spades, all right. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to remove about half the cards, half the cards from this deck. I'll even keep the uh, order the same. I'll just leave them as you, uh, you shuffled them, all right? All right, so let's get out a few more. And what I want you to do is I want you to scan over these cards. Scan them all over there. And, and then on top of that, you can scan these too, even. Quick scan, that's all you gotta do. Got all right, it? Yeah. All right, yep. and I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you remember where the two of hearts is in that? No, you don't. I don't you think don't? I saw it. Well, your subconscious mind would. Your subconscious mind would say it's fourth from the face. One, two, three, four. There's the two of hearts. Wow. Matter of fact, believe it or not, your subconscious mind re really can remember the location of every card in this deck. Wow. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. All right. So here's how this is going to work. Okay. I'm going to give you two practice tries. But on the third cut, that's going to be the one that cut, counts, all right? So what I would like to do, I'm going to cut off a small number. This will be our practice cut number one. But let's get what this number is. Guess how many I got right there? Nine. Nine. We're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just one off. Well, let's use the number ten because we know what ten looks like. I want you to try to cut off 10, a packet this size, mm -hmm. and then count them face down right there on the table. See how loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Well, we're still one off, but right. that's okay. We're yeah. getting close, we're getting close. I'm gonna let you pick the number. You pick a number between five and 15. Seven. Try to cut off seven right off the top, and then put a, count them right down there. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Still not perfect, but yeah. this is the one. I remember I said two practice, the third cut. This is the only one that counts. Now you can cut off a small packet, mid sized packet, even a large packet. I want you to cut them off, set them right there. All right. Put them right there. All right. All right. Put them right there. Great. That's the third cut. That's the one that counts. Now, even I got a small packet left here. I'm going to tell you right now, it's less than a dozen. All right. How many do you think I got? A dozen. A dozen, 12. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You nailed it. Wow. You nailed it right on the money. And wow. that's the third cut. Remember I said the one that counts? Yeah. And you said just named a card at random. You said six of spades. Yeah. Turn it over. What the heck? Six of spades. You know what that tells me that even? Huh. Today's your lucky day. Wow. We should go gambling with that six of spades. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to play a game called Monty. All right? All right. We'll do four card Monty. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to cut off about a quarter. All right. And put it right there. All right. And then cut off another quarter. All right. And then another quarter. Put it right there. All right. Now, here's how Monty works. All right. There's that six of spades. They put the money card on one of the packets. I'll put it here. All right. Now, for my demo, I'm going to leave it face up so you can follow this. But what the Monty dealer does is he shuffles and he shuffles and he says, where's the money card? And you say right there, mm -hmm. right? Now we're going to play for real, but it's going to be super easy. Two card money. You ready? Yep. Where's the money card? Right there. Now, even, I want to recap what just happened. 
you know, two minutes ago I said, we're going to do two practice cuts, third cut counts. And I said, just name a card in the deck, you name six of spades. And you hit it right on the money. 30 seconds ago, you just randomly cut to four packets. And remember I said, your mind can remember where everything is? Look, you got money cards. You remembered every money card in the deck. Wow. Pretty good. It's lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's lucky. Hey, if you like the routine, give it a thumbs up. I need to thank Terry Legerald for giving me the starting point uh, for this routine. And Terry's routine was finessed by uh, Fanique and Tony Picasso, and they really made it into a practical performing piece for a magician. And then what I did was I took their routine, made it a two-phase routine, and I got rid of the setup so you can now do the routine with a borrowed shovel deck. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the handle. It's in the new book, All In. And if you want to see another routine from uh, All In, it's a routine I came up with in 1995. I called it the Invisible Card. Click on that link right over there. And if you love non-gimmick, ungaffed card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. My name's Al Ackerman. Hope to catch you the next time.